Hi up, I live in CM and I'm out walking the dog today and I'm going to show you around our beautiful little town. Historically, CM was a thriving coal mining town during the 19th and early 20th centuries, which played a significant role in the local economy and attracted many workers to the area. Since the closure of the colliery in 1991, CM has capitalised on its rich maritime heritage and picturesque coastline to attract tourism. Efforts have been made to enhance visitor experiences such as the restoration of the historic harbour, the seafront and the addition of plenty of cafes and tourist amenities. Located by the train station you will find CM Harbour Cricket Club which was established in 1885. It is a social hub for the locals to soak up the sun whilst watching cricket and enjoying a reasonably priced drink on a sunny evening. The club also arranges private events. Yeah. Next to the cricket club you will find the uh, football fields. There's plenty of green space within CM and plenty of walks. An absolute dog lover's paradise. We have salmon. Oh, right. yeah, they're probably well fed these, aren't I know, they? Like, I don't want them because you don't know if they bite you. <laughs> no, 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 they're that okay. At the end of the football fields, there's a couple of horses that have recently moved in. We like to uh, feed them as we walk the dog each day. They are beautiful animals. As we continue to walk down, we come to see them Hall Dean. A Dean is a steep sided valley. CM has a number of deans. This one is at the back of CM Hall. At the bottom of the dean you'll see a riverbed for a small stream that is currently dry because it's very dry at the moment. The largest dean in the area is Castle Eden Dean. Please check out our video on that one. The path leads down to uh, Bain Tempest Beach and North Beach. It comes out at the back of St Mary's Church which was built around 1750. It has a rich history. This stunning beach is at the end of the promenade where the cliffs become more natural. It's accessible via a short flight of steps. The beach has a cafe, picnic tables and free car parking up in the car park itself. A common activity is collecting and hunting sea glass on the beach. It's an extremely relaxing and therapeutic activity. The London Dairy Bottle Works established in the mid 19th century dumped its waste glass into the sea, just off of the coast. Over the years, the broken glass fragments were tumbled and shaped by the sea, resulting in the creation of sea glass. This then washes up in the form of glass, which people like to hunt and collect and make uh, jewellery or various arts and crafts. Hello. Hello. It's like a is he a puppy or is that? He's fully grown. Fully grown. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I like to joke and say that this beautiful gun is a new part of the Conservatives' immigration policy. Joking aside, the uh, seafront is very well maintained and beautifully kept. The main square has the Tommy statue, which has got quite a fame about itself. The square itself hosts various events such as a food festival and a carnival each year. There's plenty of free parking there in that main square along with at the top of the harbour and generally all around CM is very easy to park and it's free. There's a number of cafes, ice cream shops and chip shops along the seafront here. Opposite the London Dairy Bottle Works which is now turned into uh, apartments. CM Harbour was initially developed in the early 19th century as a working harbour to export coal. Today it is still a working harbour, however it has a number of shops for tourism. From ice cream shops, sweet shops, tourist shops to cafes. For bigger kids and adults the harbour offers a safer area for uh, water sports such as paddle boarding and kayaking. The harbour itself provides a small area with a uh, secluded beach of pure sand, ideal for uh, families with small children. As you can see, it's also very popular for school outings. We, we noticed the people picking up the litter on the beach. 
Um, we volunteered for Seascapes. To find out more about the beach cleans on Facebook, have a look at Explore Seascapes and all of the public beaches are listed there. Since moving to the North East, we've really grown proud of our area. That it's absolutely beautiful and we like to keep it clean. So we will also be joining them on their next clean up of the beaches. As you can hear, there's hundreds of seagulls nesting in the uh, cliffs of the marina here. I just love the flatfish, I thought it's so cute. Um, really cool, I love these things. <laughs> Look at that, Look at that. They do a really good job of it. There's seagull on there. Yeah. <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> As you can probably guess from my belly, I do like to come down here for an ice cream sometimes. Moving up from London, it's a real novelty having ice cream shops near where we live. And um, unfortunately, I still keep on eating them and they are absolutely gorgeous. In the harbour you'll find the uh, Heritage and Lifeboat Centre. The museum is focused on local mining history, lifeboating and local heritage. It's free for entry. Just to the south of the town you'll find Blast Beach, which is known for its rugged beauty and popular coastal walks. From CM you can follow the coastline all the way down to Hartlepool and you'll find its rugged, unspoilt coastline all the way down. When I say unspoilt, the coastline itself does have the scars of previous industry of the coal mining era. This is most noticeable in the uh, Blast Beach because you can see the slag that has been dumped from the coal mines on the beach, leaving this strange landscape. Moving our way back up towards the north end of the uh, CM coastline is the East Shore Village. These are our local shops which contain a uh, gelato shop, Grill and Chill which is our favourite restaurant, Sainsbury's chip shop and there's also a pub. The pub itself is very family friendly and it's also dog friendly. Prior to the development of the East Shore Village, the area was occupied by coal mines and associated industrial infrastructure. Crossing back over the road to the seafront, you'll find a map of the old mines. The mines at CM Colliery would have extended horizontally and vertically into the coal seams beneath the surface. The underground workings followed the geological formations and coal seams present in the area underneath the land. And now we've gone full circle back into the East Shore Village. This is our dog's favourite walk. It takes about 40 minutes to walk around the entire village because it's very slow. In the seafront in the village, you'll see a number of sculptures. These are all single cell organisms which represent new life. For those on a much higher budget, there is the five star spa and hotel called CM Hall. We have not visited yet because they do like to keep the riffraff out. Next to uh, CM Hall, as mentioned earlier, we have uh, St Mary's Church, which is a 7th century Anglo-Saxon church 